So, World Community Service Update, Costa Rica Project. So, CJ, since you are here, would you like to say something? Or do you just want me to just jump straight to Chesapeake? Well, let me introduce Chesapeake. Perfect. Okay. Um, Chesapeake, your Pablo Elizondo uh, colleague that we worked with for long. 30 years, 40 years? No, 50. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I started a bird observatory in Costa Rica 20 years ago, and Chesapeake, speaking Spanish, and I know it, uh, it's taken over. It's, it's grown to a big organization. <clears throat> and he's a Rotarian down there and very active in his club. And he's going to tell us a little bit. His, his background is an economist, not an ornithologist. But, uh, Running a nonprofit, being an economist, is a good idea. <laughs> Just we want you to fill in on our joint project of our two clubs. <laughs> I took two coffees and finally I made it. <laughs> so uh, I just wanted to provide you with a quick update on the status of our project. Uh, for those of you who uh, have like memory problems like I do, uh, the uh, what we call the La Trinidad or the Highlands project <coughs> in Costa Rica. It's a micro lending project that we partnered with the uh, Arcada, both the uh, Noon Club and the Morning Club, and the Rotary uh, here in Arcada, and the Rotary Clubs in Costa Rica, and the Rotary Foundation, and your districts and our districts, in order to come out uh, with a project of micro lending for small business and entrepreneurs in the highlands of Costa Rica. Uh, I want to be clear that this is a credit that is being used for business ideas or to empower local economies. It doesn't have to do anything with flat screens or with clothing or with any fancy stuff that people might use for their personal consumption. This is credit that is being used to empower local communities. It's uh, mostly used to foster productivity and improve household conditions. It's based out of the community. So the community itself has a committee uh, that has been trained in order to be able to uh, uh, figure out what the best ideas are and what things are feasible and what things uh, are not feasible. Uh, it's mostly granted to women in the communities. Um, the model has realized that uh, women usually impact uh, more positively the household economy by um, get a higher return in the, in the, in the local and the family. Uh, dynamics of uh, financing. So, um, to give you some data, also this is uh, an important project for us because it fulfills one of the uh, areas of, of interest of Rotary, which is uh, the growth of local economies. And right now we have five total uh, committees in five different communities. Uh, right now we have allocated $30,000 in funding that is um, uh, going to all of the uh, credit committees. Each committee has an average uh, about 12 projects uh, each one, so that's about 60 recipients total uh, uh, at this time. So the credits are mostly being used for uh, crop improvement. So sometimes people simply just don't have the cash flow to you know, get better seeds or to get better tools or to improve uh, some of their uh, uh, equipment. Uh, some of the crops that they have been uh, working on include avocados and passion fruits. Those are uh, new higher yield uh, um, products or crops that um, help them improve their uh, family income. 75% of the uh, loans have been granted to women, uh, which is important, very, very important for us. 100% uh, of the households who receive the, um, any grant uh, are less than $10,000 a year of annual uh, household income. And according to one of the uh, managers, he told me that on average they're like five to $6,000 annual income. So, uh, let's see, and the average uh, uh, 
grant is uh, on the, uh, it's around $600 right now. So I think that this is a project that is really empowering our communities, it's empowering our uh, economy, it's really making a difference in the lives of people up in the highlands of Costa Rica. Uh, from a rotary standpoint, the project needed to have like a beginning date and an end date and that has already passed. Now why am I giving you an update? Well it's because the thirty thousand just keep rolling on and on and on and on forever. So as long as we get the repayments, we will just continue to uh, to go on. So uh, I think this project closed actually like a year or so ago and we are still rolling and there is a promise for, for growth. So at some point, I will inform you that the community is no longer in need of the uh, of the of the funds, which is actually a positive thing because it means it means that the community already uh, overcome their challenges and they are ready to pass it into another community, which is you know solve their issues and continue on. Uh, hopefully, <coughs> if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them after the session. And we're right now in conversations with all of the clubs around so we, we can uh, continue to do another uh, international project. So if you have any ideas, uh, Tom would be glad to um, transfer those out to, to all of us. Thank you very much.